Hello and welcome to this Power BI video and we are continuing our uh, series of DAX vs SQL. We have seen a few things on the DAX and the SQL comparison. Now in this video what we wanted to do is we want to experiment with group by. So now to experiment with the group by first of all we go to the SQL and in SQL how we do is group by we say okay select some uh, view by which is or basically group by which is city ID in this case and then we say sum of quantity. Here we are not saying any aggregation and then we can rename it as quantity of point from the table name and then the group by so anything which is not aggregated need to come as group by right now we are taking one so we are going to have one group by which is city and then uh, to you know compare the values here in the DAX we actually are taking order by two so basically highest uh, uh, so the lowest one will come at the top and if you want highest one we should say order by descending so we are saying order by which is by default ascending and then we execute it we get 79 and 261 is the first one which we are getting as a city id now in case of dax when we wanted it uh, we have group by as well as summarize available with us so the syntax for the group by is group by then the table name then we can mention all the unsummarized column which we don't want to uh, uh, put into aggregation just like we have done it in uh, sql also but uh, the uh, column which we want to use uh, as aggregated they need to be renamed compulsorily and then in case of uh, group by we are you going to use sum x and current group function and in the current group we are going to say which quantity sum x will take two parameter what is the table name which is current group right now here and the quantity which we are giving and at the end of it order by sales this order by sales is applicable for the dax uh, but when we are going to do it in the power bi visual we have actually need to sort it on the visual that's we are going to show to you and similarly sum summarize very similar syntax in the summarize we are simply using some we are not, uh, not going to use some x there you can also use some x uh, with the table name and sales again uh, you have to give the table name and the ungrouped uh, can be given without ungrouped uh, need to be given without a new name and the grouped column need to be given with a new name and then at the end of it order by in the decks we are adding so let's execute them one by one and see so 261 and this one and then let's again execute this one city id and this is what we got it now let's see how in the power bi we uh, generate the dax for it so what we can do is we can take a table visual and in the table visual we can drag the city id and we can also drag quantity and city id i need ungrouped so basically it's a number so it will actually group it and then i can do it and then what we have to do is we have to just say sort uh, this is descending and in case of ascending 261.79 is the first data we, we are getting so same thing we got it in power bi now the another thing which we wanted to do uh, basically is taking it from other table city name is the one which we wanted to have it so to have the city name let's try it so in case of sql now this is two tables basically and right now there is a join which we need to define so what we say okay i want to take uh, g dot city which is geography so in my from clause if you look i'm saying uh, uh, from sales which is s inner join on the geography which is g city id equal to city id so now this is my from clause and then i'm saying g dot city id so take city from the geography table and sum the sales of quantity renamed it as sales and group by g dot city previously we have taken uh, group by city id now this time we are taking from from the city and then we say order by two again and then we execute this query and this time you see we, we are getting it with the city name now in power bi model if you remember we have already done this join part of it so we are having this um, uh, 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 geography table and the sales table already joined on the city id and now dex works in a different uh, way so what we are going to do in the dex is we are not going to mention any kind of join right now we we, we don't have to mention because we already join it in the model we do have like uh, inner join natural join and all those uh, which we can use but uh, right now the what we are going to say simply again the two things we group by and summarize we are now saying we are going to take it from sales and that there is a very good thing that even though we are saying sales we are able to mention the tables which are joined with the sales so we are here saying we are going to take a column from geography table which is the city and then we need the uh, sum x of quantity and in the second case we are saying okay again we are in the case of summarize also we are taking uh, saying we need the city from geography and then we have sales which is sum of uh, uh, quantity fine and order by again uh, this is just we need in the dex studio uh, so st peter work is the city and then let's see here what's the same result yes we are getting the same result now same thing power bi power bi uh, the order by has to come from a visual so we go here we created a last time this visual now again we are going to create a table visual now this time you go to the city table drag the city out here and then we go to the quantity and drag the quantity out here 
and then again sort once and sort twice and then this is we got sort ascending and we got the same results so this is how you do group by in power bi versus group by in sql server thanks for watching this video thank you